you ever have one of those months where you feel like you just can't get right? Like, that's the month I'm having. <laughs> Thank God June's over. It's July 2nd. And of course, because we couldn't get right last month, my Ipsy video is super late, but I still wanted to record it and get it out there for those of you who maybe wanted to see it. Okay, so I get both of Ipsy's subscription services every month. I get the Ipsy Glam Bag and I get the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. The difference between the two is the Ipsy Glam Bag is a once a month subscription service that comes to you. It is customizable. There's lots of questions that you would answer about your bag, about your preferences, your skin tone, your hair color, things of that nature. Um, and then they send you about four or five samples and usually like one full size item and it's it's a pretty good gig it's only 10 bucks a month it, i've definitely been doing it for two and a half years now it, it's been a while and i really love it i don't see myself ever canceling then they launched the ipsy glam bag plus which comes in that pink box that's directly behind me and the box is 25 dollars a month which is a little more expensive than boxycharm which has been around a little bit longer but you get four to five full size items in there and it's usually got a quite of a value attached to it as well this is my third or second 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 um glam bag plus bag so i kind of lumped them together in the same video just to show them and get them out there so let's talk about what's in these bags Ma, we're gonna do the ten dollar uh bag first and i'll go right in with i've tried most of these items so i'm gonna go right in with this Neogen Code 9 Black Volume Cream. This is an item that was kind of a conundrum to me. Okay, so it's a it's a hydrator. It's a gel hydrator. So when you get it out, when you squeeze it out of the tube, it's actually like a grayish black color, but it's still translucent and you put it on your face and you hydrate. And it's loaded with things like ceramides and hyaluronic acid and it's oil free and it's supposed to plump and hydrate and give your skin a nice healthy look. I use this on clean face, wash my face, did my cleansing like I normally would and applied this. The thing that I did not like about this was it took a long time to absorb, which is kind of funny because I have dry skin traditionally and usually things just right back up into my skin. And the other thing about this was that it was very tacky. It didn't dry down. It didn't absorb fully into the skin and left this tacky feeling on my face, which wasn't necessarily a horrible thing. I guess I was going on it with makeup, but if you're the type that doesn't like that tacky feeling, like I would not put this on at night because uh, I don't want to go to bed feeling tacky. Uh, but if you're, you know, if you don't mind that kind of thing, maybe this is your jam. As far as where to buy this product, I did see that they do sell some of the Neogen Lab items on Sephora's website. And they also sell this one on, um, QVC. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was called. I wanted to call it HSN, but that's a big, that's a news channel, like QVC. So the QVC website sells these guys. And um, I don't know, this was, I mean, I'll probably use up this little sample just cause it's little, but it, honestly, it didn't astound me in any kind of way. And this is the one product from the bag that I did not try. And this is the Hey Honey Sweet Treat Berry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. I have just have not had time to do a mask lately. I've been super busy. We were on vacation. That's why my videos are kind of backed up. Um, but this one is the Hey, I have gotten, I think three other items from the Hey Honey line and they're all standard. They're all good. I mean, nothing as bad has happened and nothing super has happened. I, I mean, they do the job. Another item that is in this bag is an item that I'm wearing now. And this is Pixie by Petra, the Lip Lift Max in the shade Sheer Rose. And you can see it's a gloss. Um, it does have some color to it it's not opaque it is a little bit more on the translucent side leaves a little wash of color um it is a nice rosy shade just like it says sheer rose there's no glitter but it does like you can see my lips are glossy so i mean it does do the job it's not tacky but it also doesn't feel like vaseline i hate when you get glosses that feel so thick that they're i mean your lips aren't sticking together you're not getting the strings but you feel like you've smeared vaseline on your lips that's like no bueno for me i don't like that so i definitely uh appreciate this because it's a nice lightweight gloss 
and it's not you know making my lips stick together and I feel like it looks really pretty so I like this and Pixie is available at Target so accessible <laughs> And the final item in my, oh, I'm, I lied, there's two more. Okay, another item that I have is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. And this one is safe for sensitive skin, which is what First Aid Beauty is really well known for. I really love their products. I am like addicted to their Coconut Hydrating Moisturizing Primer. So good, so good. Um, but this one, I mean, this was okay. It, it wasn't as good as the coconut one, but it wasn't bad. And maybe if you have a coconut allergy, this would be a better option for you. Uh, this one is, uh, like I said, oil free, and it has light diffusing micro pearls to brighten the skin, and it has colloidal colloidal oatmeal, which is very hydrating and is in a lot of the first aid beauty products. Also, I will tell you this one they sell first aid beauty at Sephora, but this item is not available at Sephora. It is available at Ulta. So if you're looking for this, it's going to be at Ulta. And last but not least is um, a full-size item, which I usually always get a brush in my Ipsy bags, and I love that. I don't buy brushes anymore. I never buy brushes, ever. The Tetris, the game Tetris, if you remember, came out in 1985, the year I was born, do some math. Um, Tetris was that game with the blocks and they'd be all different shapes and you'd fit them in and once you made a solid line, it would disappear. And if the block stacked all, stacked all the way to the top, you would lose. So Ipsy and Tetris have collapsed because it is Tetris's 35th anniversary very soon. And this is one of the brushes that they have created together. And this is a blending brush. It's really nice. I love the blue here. Um, this The handle is kind of square. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but you can also see all the different colors with the little L-shaped block guys. Um, it's just cute. I mean, and it's the perfect size for me. I have small eyes, so I need something that can really get in that crease and do the job. So I really am happy to have this. It's really, really nice. Um, I, I love it. I think it's great. And so that is what came in the mini zipper pouch. And I'm going to tuck all this back here and move directly into the Glam Bag Plus box. I want to start with the most exciting product first because it kind of links to the Tetris thing. So in every single Glam Bag Plus box, you got a palette and this is the Block Party palette and it has six eyeshadows in it and you can see all the little shapes from the Tetris game and you open it like this and here it is. I love the exterior colors. There were two palettes in the collection. All of these items are available online and I don't think you need to be an Ipsy subscriber to shop, but I'm not 100% sure. I will make sure, I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the comment section. But here it is, as I said, it's a six pan palette. These are actually decent sized pans. You can see you're getting quite a bit of product here. And they, let me talk about the things I love about this palette. Okay, so for starters, you get a mirror. It says block party on the inside. It's really cute. I mean, it's just a standard closed type palette. It's about the size of a ColourPop palette to give you some frame of reference. Uh, they, I feel like they were kind of not as space conscious as they could have been. Uh, that's something that people talk about sometimes in their video as far as like travel and you know ease of storage because we're all makeup hoarders and we all have a problem and collectively probably need Dr. Bell. But I digress again. <laughs> so this is the palette. It's really, really pretty. You've got this awesome um, shimmery blue, this metallic silver, you have this shimmery purple and a shimmery pink, and then you have two matte transition and crease shades. Perfect. Like this is perfection for me. So I love it when they put a flesh tone, um, shade and a crease color in here. And I just, I, cause I love, I just love when they do that. And also, but I love the play on the colors because sometimes you just want a little bit of pop of color. The shadows perform on the medium spectrum. So these are not the best performing shadows I have ever used in my life, but they are not the worst. Oh, I forgot my cheat sheet again. This palette is valued at $24. So a little, little sticky for what they are. Um, I, I give this like higher end drugstore brand quality. That's where I rate these shadows. I think drugstore shadows, not that there aren't good ones out there, don't come for me. I feel like if you're like in CoverGirl, Maybelline, L'Oreal, true, like Wet n Wild, true drugstore shades, yeah, there's some winners. You get the palette, you swatch them. There's some winners and there's some definite losers. I feel like this is kind of like the, it's like 
it kind of belongs in that family. Uh, not that there's, there isn't losers. I would say that that's what kind of elevates this above. So that's why I say $24 is a little sticky for what I feel the palette is worth. And I'm gonna go ahead and quickly swatch, there's lip gloss there. Well, there's my earrings I was looking for <sighs> underneath my freaking wipes. I need help. I need, send me a nanny or a therapist or a life coach, maybe. I don't know what I need. I need help. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to swatch them on the back here. I'm going to do that and then show you. It, it's just easier. You know? I did already swatch these on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, the link for that is in the description box. But here they are. And I didn't think about this again. I never think. I have to practice swatching y'all like I gotta practice okay so from top to bottom the top color is top out and then teaspoon skyline high score line clear and back to back so you can see yes you get color you get I mean and these are these are swatches they were not one swipe swatches they were Type swatches. I want to make sure I put that out there that they were they were back and forth swatches. They weren't just one time, you know, not one swipes. So yeah, they are buildable. They do perform. You can see them on my eyes today. But again, this looks a lot more bold than what's on my eyes. And I actually prime my eyes with concealer, which is something that I never do. So when I'm doing my makeup, it has to be quick. It has to be fast. Just quick story time. It has to be quick. It has to be fast. If I don't get primer on my eyelids then I don't get primer on my eyelids it's something I do minimally like 5% of the time that's legit like how often I prime my eyes so I'm not I'm going to judge a palette based on how I apply my makeup because it has to work for me now if you're the type who has the time you're gonna prime you're gonna do all the steps you might have better payoff with this but for me it's not that I got bad payoff but I really had to I had to wet my brushes I really had to work for this so Again, I'm going to keep this. I think this is beautiful. I love the color story. I would take this on a vacation and just use this. I think it's great, but keep it in mind. If you don't want to fuss, you will fuss with this palette. You will fuss with it. And if you buy it as it is on its own, like I said, it's $24. This next item that I got is bougie. Okay, so I love the word bougie. I have no idea how to spell it, but I love it. So, because <laughs> it really does describe certain things in life and this is one of those things this is a bougie brand this is 111 skin from and it says Harley Street London so this is a UK brand and it is only available at Neiman Marcus and Barney's who shops there on a regular basis I certainly don't and it is five stars rating on both websites and I'm gonna give you a second to guess how much you think this is just just take a wild guess $180. Can you believe it? $180 for this serum. It is a vitamin C boosting serum and it comes in a little black bottle like this, which to me was very anticlimactic when I opened the box and knew it was $180 serum. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with the bottle, but it's just very standard. It's very basic. It looks very boring gonna throw it out there for $180 but let me pull out the little cheat sheet and tell you a little bit about it okay so it's a lightweight concentrated formula that is infused with firming red rice extract vitamin C to help diminish dark spots and brighten your skin and antioxidants to hydrate and help prevent future pigmentation and age spots so let's have a little chat about vitamin C serums real quick little little education for you so vitamin C is one of the first ingredients one of the first active ingredients that will break down in skincare. So I have not opened this yet. I have not swatched it. I have not felt it. I cannot tell you how it feels. If you want to read reviews about it, go to Barney's website or Neiman or Neiman Marcus's website. Because <laughs> I'm not opening this bad boy until I'm ready to use it. Once I'm ready to commit. Another thing about vitamin C serum is once you start to use one, once you start to use the vitamin C serum or a vitamin C regimen of any kind, especially if you use one with what's the name of that product great i'll put it in the I'll, I'll i'll put it across the screen because i can't remember the name of the of the chemical that they put in skincare uh that's very effective against age spots like, so if you're if you're noticing some age spots um or discolorations on your face this ingredient that i'm putting below here is good for it but 
The thing with these is they do make your skin super sensitive to sunlight. Um, here's the issue. Vitamin C is gonna come in, it's gonna diminish the look of your age spots and your hyperpigmentation. Cool, awesome, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. I have suffered since I've had babies with pregnancy masks, so I have some discoloration showing through here and then along in my hairline. And sometimes you'll see it more than others. I don't super conceal it. It's me. It's what my face is, what my skin is. It, it is what it is. I'll use products like these to a degree, but I'm not super stressed about it. It is what it is. If you don't like it, don't look at my face. That's kind of my attitude. <laughs> Maybe that's the wrong attitude to have, but that's kind of my attitude. So once you start using these and you're fading your hyperpigmentation, your age spots on your face, once you start to do that with your vitamin C, is all is gonna go well, it's gonna be great. But the minute you're back out in the sun without proper SPF and protection, what's gonna happen is it's gonna hit that hyper, those hyperpigmentation spots and they're going to come back and they're going to come back darker. So you have to be careful. This works for acne scars, any type of skin discoloration. Once you start to fade them, you have to use SPF and try to minimize your time in the sun. And for the love of Pete, do not get in a tanning bed. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Be pasty. It's better that way, trust me. But you can use these products. It's not that these products are not safe. It's about proper skin maintenance. Once you go down the road of vitamin C, you need to use the SPF. You need to stay out of the sun as much as you possible. Stay out of those godforsaken, awful tanning beds. And make sure, you know, wear a floppy hat when you're at the beach or sit under an umbrella. Just minimize your time and wear your sunscreen. As long as you do that, as long as you take care of your skin, as long as you do the work, you should not have any issues with this. So don't let me scare you. It's more of it for your information. Hopefully that helps. $180. Let's move on to Suva Beauty. Suva Beauty, which I have heard some influencers talk about in the past, and I'm pretty sure it's Nikki Tutorials and maybe Kathleen Lights. I can't remember. But they sent two two products from Suva Beauty, like in a little like duo, and it is the Hydro Liner in Grease in the shade Grease, so black, and a 620 brush. So here is Grease. This is what it looks like. It just comes in a little standard pot. And here it is. It is pretty well dry. Because you're supposed to add water. I did not know this when I went to use it. And was very upset when I went and dipped in and got this on this adorable little brush that they sent. Which this brush makes, I would have been happy with just the brush to be perfectly honest with you because it is such a super fine liner brush. Let me show you. See how fine that bad boy is? Super fine. Awesome. So they're made to be used in tandem. You would wet your brush or you would wet a little bit in the in the actual well. And it does, it says right on here that um, to begin wet the 26 brush, dip it in the pan, mix with the liner, adding more water if necessary. Once you get a nice creamy consistency, trace your lash line to create your look. Let the product air dry before twisting the cap back on. That is another tip that you wanna make sure. So it's always good to read these things because I just dipped in thinking this was a gel liner or you know, like some, you know, a standard liner and brush set and was very disappointed. Like I was at my daughter's ballet recital like trying to put her liner on because they have to wear makeup for the stage and yeah so this is $26 for this set so I'm kind of um, a little bit behind because I didn't get a chance to really use it yet because I'm an idiot and didn't read and uh, this has a you can get this on Bloomingdale's website and also of course on the Suva Beauty website and if you wanted to buy them separately the liner is 14 and the brush is 12 the brush was rated 4.5 stars and the liner was rated five stars next up we have a product from Ciate London which I'm a pretty big fan of that brand it's the liquid velvet moisturizing matte liquid lipstick in the shade pin up and this is available on Sephora's website and it has four stars I have not worn this if the shade is a bit dark for this time of year for me it's not that I don't like it I'm just not this isn't a shade I'm gravitating towards right now so I'm definitely going to use this I'm definitely going to keep I'm a huge fan of Ciate London so I'm really anxious to have this but like I said it's just a little dark a little darker than I go in the summertime but I'm definitely going to keep it and I'll uh, have four stars like I said and this has a $19 value and lastly and most certainly least 
because this is the worst product I think I have got in my more expensive bags or boxes between Ipsy and, and BoxyCharm. It's probably one of the worst. Um, this is the Pure Cosmetics, which we've gotten a lot of Pure Cosmetics items before and I'm actually not, it's not that I hate on Pure Cosmetics, I absolutely do not. This is the Big Look Mascara. This is a $21 mascara available at Macy's. Now, first of all, the packaging is pretty cute. It looks like lip gloss. I'm like, I'm just gonna throw it out there. But again, okay. And I got it and I'm thinking, okay, cool, mascara, good, good, good. I love to get mascaras. and. You know, I'm looking at the brush on the little picture that they send, and it's like one of the rubbery ones with the short, stubby little bristles, which isn't my favorite, but again, okay, you know, I, I'm not hating on it. So you can see I'm pulling it out. Now, I don't know if I got a defect, but look. Do you see? Look at the product at the top, and look at the, pro look at the product at the bottom. Look at that. What on earth? What what is this? Like I need that guy from the Arby's commercial, the cheese fry commercials on about a year ago. What are those? Yeah, that's what the what is this? Um I don't know if mine, like I said, is defective. I don't feel like it is because it's really hard to push in and pull out. But look, look, I just put it in and pulled it out one more time. Look, look at the mascara gobbing on that. Oh, 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 I can't use that. I can't even use this, you guys. Like, I can't, I have to throw this tube away. This is completely useless. There is no amount of, like, look at it gunking up in the top. Like, I can't, I can't fix this. It's a hot freaking mess. I'm not even gonna pass this on to somebody because it's such a mess. I don't even know. I'm wondering if I should even email the company and just say, hey, is this standard? Um, it's been hot lately. I mean, I live in Pennsylvania, so like I don't live in the South and I don't live in the North. But we're still getting like 80s to low 90 degree weather. Did this melt? Is that the problem? Did it get too hot in shipping? It didn't sit in my mailbox like for two days. It got out that same day. Uh, I, I don't know. Like. I've never seen a mascara get this bad. It's pretty bad. Uh, it's mascara gate. We had lipstick gate. Now it's mascara gate. I don't know if I should email the company and just ask. Uh, it does say it has argan oil, so maybe that makes it a little bit more like of a loose formula. Uh, I don't know, but I tried to use it today and I, I barely tapped my lashes because I was too afraid to really get in there and go because I was afraid it was just gonna go everywhere. So, I mean, I, I can't even give you like a true this is how it performs or whatever. I can tell you when I applied my setting mist that I didn't spray all over my face like the Trace Deek mascara from my BoxyCharm last month. <laughs> Go watch that video. That one's a hot mess. I didn't figure out the price of the Ipsy bag. I mean, I'm gonna put it at probably, uh, you know, $40 value. That's pretty much where they standardly end up for about 10 bucks, which isn't bad. Not bad at all. There were some good name brands in there. Uh, I will use all the products that came in there. So I'm definitely happy with that. The Glam Bag Plus though, I mean, the palette was cute. It's functional. I'll keep it. The lip gloss is stand, it's fine, it's nice. I mean, that mascara though, oh my gosh. I think we've made a big enough fuss about that. And then the skincare. So yeah, it's nice. They sent me some bougie skincare and you know, that's really nice to be able to try it. But the thing is, is I will never repurchase that. So if it's something that I completely fall in love with, I will never buy that again, never. Uh, that's too expensive. I could buy my probably entire year's worth of skincare with $180. Maybe not the entire year, but close. I can get close. And so I did a little math with the Glam Bag Plus. So for all the items excluding the skincare, the box value was $90, which is kind of low to me. Um, but once you add the $180 skincare, that makes it $270. So it seems like you're getting this huge value, which you are. I mean, they're obviously selling that skin care oil, that serum, but it kind of seems like we stuck it in there to fluff up some ho-hum products. That's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think. What product do you see yourself using? Which ones do you see yourself 
passing on or not even using and uh, let me know do you are you subscribed what do you think of the Tetris collection go online and check it out I'm gonna link another video to a fellow YouTube friend who's also a smaller YouTube channel like mine she had the ipsy bag and she had completely different products and she actually got a better bag than mine I'm jealous she got this gorgeous gold Tetris eyeshadow single yeah you definitely want to check out her video I will link it below hello re it's great to be a partner with you on this platform and in Instagram so I just wanted to shout her out and as always I hope you all have an amazing day please subscribe to my channel I do lots of unboxings check out my playlist you'll get a little taste of what it is that I do and I hope to see you all in my next video